Hey all, welcome to another Valley Forged. Well, <laughs> they just keep coming. Uh, I just found out that uh, Aitzer has also, now they've come out with a 35 watt. And maybe this came out before the uh, X-Tool came out with their 40 watt. Um, and a as I said in my last video, when I was talking about the 40 watt X-Tool, this is a channel that talks about all things lasers and how could I not be mentioning, you know, this, all this new stuff coming out. Uh, I don't know which one will be the best. I don't know if either of these will be any good. You can't even try these right now. And I noticed the other laser channels aren't even talking about it. And maybe that's because they can't get one to try or maybe the companies have said, hey, we don't want you to mention this yet until a certain date. I don't know. What do they call that? An embargo or something? But since, uh, you know, I bought my Laser Master 3 and all the accessories with my own money and uh, Acer and Xtool have sent me nothing, I guess I get to talk about it first. So in the Xtool video, I've got a lot of, uh, you know, love and a lot of hate towards Xtool. You know, some people are saying that it's the greatest thing ever. Some people are saying that their customer service is terrible. And, you know, when it comes to Acer, not as many people have it. In fact, this is one of the complaints that I saw um, on the video. I believe it. somebody said, hey, you haven't even shipped me my 20 watt yet. Why, why don't you concentrate on that instead of, uh, you know, this 35 watt? And uh, Acer re responded that it's a different manufacturer that's making the two. So they're not the same or something like that. But regardless... Uh, it is a very interesting time uh, to be a laser channel and to see be somebody who really loves. La I, I wake up every day and I just want to make stuff. In fact, I'm, I'm uh, sewing this uh, wallet that I I made on the laser because it's pouring rain outside. So hand stitching uh, wallets is a, a great thing to do on a day like today and uh, make a video about a 35 watt Acer. Uh, diode laser. Now, I'm, I'm super interested in trying both of these uh, because it, just because one's more powerful does not mean it's going to be better. And, and uh, I've watched the Louisiana Hobby Guys video on the Acer, and it seemed like a really great machine. Obviously, he's also tried the X-Tool, so I figure, hey, maybe this is something great to look at. Again, the issue is who has one? How do we know, you know that in a production environment with lots of them out there, they're going to work well. And uh, we don't know that really about the X-Tool either. But it is pretty exciting that they're both uh, creating these uh, much higher powered diode lasers. And so the advertisement here for the 35, I'll put it below, is very short. They don't really say anything. It's just a little bit of music here. I'll play it right now. It's only a few seconds. And now, was that funny or what? Of course, when you play it, you get an X Tool commercial. I think that's just so par for the course. In fact, if you look here at the upper right, you see there's an X Tool advertisement. So it doesn't matter which laser company is advertising for their machines. They're going to be, other people are going to be, uh, the people seeing them are going to be advertised to for X Tool. I find that very interesting. And then at the end, they point me to the Louisiana Hobby Guys uh, extended review on the 24 watt, which is what they call the 20 watt laser. And uh, I watched that and became very interested in the Acer. Now, the name, probably not the smartest, you know, a lot of these names like Sculptfin and Acer and uh, Jinsoku, Jinmitsu, you know, a lot of names that are probably not uh, ideal for marketing to, say, a Western uh, audience. Is that why I went with the Ortur? Because I could pronounce it? I, I don't know. But uh, 
But I do find that X tool and or tour are are a lot easier to, you know, just say and so advertise as well. So if you want to know more about the Aitzer, I would go over to Louisiana Hobby Guy. Again, uh, you can't, this is the 20 and they've been taking the pre-orders. It appears that they have them in stock now for US. And so people should be getting those. And I, I'm, I'm very interested in getting one myself and also just hearing what the general public has to say about it. I mean, obviously Rich here had a very good experience with his and uh, I think that's something to that's something very positive. If you go to the Aitzer website, you don't find this. You actually have to go through the advertisement. And uh, 35 watts. Now, they're claiming that their beam size is uh, 0.06 by 0 0.1 millimeters, which is pretty great when you're talking about 35, uh, 35 watts. So... I'm guessing it's going to have a better spot than the X tool, but we can only wait to find out. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> I mean, we're going to have a heck of a year. Where is this going to go? You know, are we going to end up with a hundred watt diode pretty soon? Um, they're going to have to figure out how to compress that spot and whoever wins that is, well, everybody else will probably just copy it anyways. But again, even with the higher wattage, it's probably still not going to be good for acrylic. Uh, it will introduce some more problems that we aren't really aware of yet because this is such a new deal. Uh, it will probably create more things that are amazing that we haven't thought about yet. So it is an exciting time. And, uh, you know, like and subscribe this channel because I'm going to keep on it and I'm going to find out everything there is to know that I can find out uh, about all of these and then I will get my hands on them when I can. And then I will try and go over the positives and negatives of all of the different machines. Now, who else out there is coming up with a 30 plus watt diode? Is there anybody out there that I'm missing? Uh, I see Acer and Xtool. Is there anybody else? And does anybody out there have experience with any of these or have some information to add? Put it down below. We'll add it to everybody. I can put it on a video. I just want everybody to know uh, what's going on, you know, what what their options are. Do you even need a, a 30 watt or a 20 watt? I mean, depending on what you are planning on doing and how much you want to spend, it appears that the Acer is quite a bit cheaper than the X tool. That's been true since the beginning, as far as I can tell. Now, it's saying the 20-watt machine is actually $300 off, so it's $1,000. That's a pretty good deal for a 20-watt, especially with the Air Assist and for, you know, everything that Rich, Louisiana Hobby Guy, has said about it. I'm kind of going by his word at this point. The 35-watt, they're pre-ordering it at $1,350. So you're paying another $350 to get another 10 watts. So you have to think about that. Is it going to be worth it for you? Uh, what is going to be the difference? Is, are, you know, is the engraving going to be much better with the 25 watt versus the 35? These are all things that we have, you know, we have to learn about. And so pre-ordering, it's a little difficult until we know more. I mean, I, I would be hesitant to pre-order either of these myself until I have tested them, you know, I, I can already say that having this, uh, if you look at the actual, see if I could zoom in there. Yeah. If you look at the actual diode cartridge itself, you can see that, uh, you know, you can't take the lens, I mean, this, uh, cover part off. So it is going to be pretty close to the material. You know how I like to be able to remove that if I want to. And with the X tool, that is possible. Now, this is actually metal down there. So you would have to cut it off with a hacksaw or something if you wanted to get rid of, you know, your clearance. If you wanted a little more clearance from the bottom. I can see that it also has the air assist nozzle from the top, as does the X tool. So that's going to be pretty much the same. Uh, is this going to be compatible with the 
uh, 20 watt or the 10 watt Acer. I mean, do you need to get a whole new X axis like you do with the X tool? Uh, I, all these things, I don't know. So we will find out a lot more if you know anything. I mean, that's one of the greatest ways I've found out about all this stuff is actually through your comments. So that's all I'm going to say for this. It, very exciting times to be in lasers and in diode lasers in particular. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.